Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are benchmarking the Micromax Canvas Nitro 8310. It comes with a 5 inch HD IPS display, oleophobic coating on top. You can see it runs on the MT6592 chipset. You have an octa core processor here clocked at 1.7 GHz, Mali 450MP GPU clocked at 700 MHz. You have 1969 MB RAM available out of 2 GB, 5.2 GB internal storage, 13 megapixel primary camera, 1080p video recording. Sony IMX135 sensor, your 5 megapixel front facing camera also with a BSI sensor. Now it might be capable of recording 720p videos, we will definitely check that out. You have 2500mAh lithium polymer battery, accelerometer proximity and light sensors all of which are working fine. Now we will start with the benchmarks and to do is the first one. We have fast forward all the benchmarks to get to the results quickly. The scores have lowered, let's have a look. We got 26,833 which is higher than both the Moto G and the Asus Zenfone 5 but less than that of the Xiaomi Mi 3. Now we'll run Nena Mark 2, it's a graphics benchmark, will give us an FPS rate and we got 60.6 FPS meaning high-end games should be very easily playable on this device, we'll definitely check that out. Now we are running the Quarant benchmark, it's the full benchmark here as well and we got a score of 13.376, a very good score. Lower than the Xiaomi Mi 3 but higher than both the Moto G2 and the Zenfone 5. Now we are running Velamo HTML5 chapter. It will run Octane, Sun Spider as well as V8 Benchmark Suit. So we got a score of 2109 which is higher than the Xiaomi Mi 3, Moto G as well as the Asus Zenfone 5. And you can see it's just below the Nexus 7 right there. Now we are running the Metal chapter of Velamo specifically test the processing capabilities. We got a score of 964 again higher than both the Moto G2 and Zenfone 5 but lower than the Xiaomi Mi 3. Now we are running the Linpack single thread test. We got a score of 147.33, much higher than the Moto G2. And now multi-thread test time. We got a score of 255.55, which is again in the same realm as the current Moto G2. Out of the eight fingers on the display, five are detected. It's a five point multi-touch display. While the Zenfone 5 Mi 3 as well as the new Moto G have a 10 point multi-touch display. In terms of general performance, you can see that there is a slight hint of flag in the UI, but it just might be the launcher. The Canvas Nitro is a great proposition at Rs. 12,990 as it comes with an octa-core processor, 2 gigs of RAM and a 5-inch HD IPS display. We'll be back with more on it till then you can watch its unboxing from right here, as well as the benchmarks of the new Moto G 2nd generation. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share any questions just hit us in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a great day.